Don't the sports talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, in the world of boxing, things go on. You know, so much stuff going on. And it's good. You know, you got these little headlines. And, you know, sometimes there's heroes out there that you that just go under, under the radar. Things just happen and you don't realize. So we're going to realize this one. Right? I've been talking about this dude for a while. Now, let's talk Julius Ndungo. Right? Y'all remember Julius Ndungo? You know, the he lost to Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is the only, only unified champion in all of boxing at 140 before he went up to 147. Now, I said, you know, you got a big assist from Julius Ndungo, who had won two titles, and then said, well, you know what? I'm going to go try to get Terrence Crawford, too. Now, let's make sure, for those who don't know, that Julius Ndungo, he went to Russia and beat Troy Anowski, who was undefeated in Russia. Knocked him out in round one, I think it was. Right? Nice left, straight left hand. Bam! In the fight, Troy Anowski couldn't get up. Right? Won the IBF title. Then he goes to Scotland and beat Ricky Burns over there. Destroyed him. You know? Unanimous decision. Wasn't no question. I don't even know if Ricky Burns even went around. So, he didn't go on the island and start chilling, right? Like most fighters would. Start feeling entitled. You know, I don't need to fight nobody if I don't got a certain amount of percentage. You know, I'm entitled. I got two belts. I don't need to be messing around with nobody. No. He says, Terrence Crawford, you got the nerve to have two other belts in the same division as I am? Then, wait a minute, I get back to my vacation. I'm going to take those two belts at their house, and I am going to Nebraska to fight Terrence Crawford. I thought that was a form of heroism, right? And that's why I didn't ignore it, and I'm going to put some videos up to prove it, right? I thought that was awesome, what Julius and Dungo did. Now, Terrence Crawford beat him, right, and was unified, you know, champion, the only one. That's why he is pound for pound on any list that means something. If there's a list and Terrence Crawford's name ain't number one on pound for pound, you need to check the background on that list and why that is. Right? But at the end of the day, Terrence Crawford's the man. No shame in losing to Terrence Crawford after trying to do some heroic type of stuff. Right? By the way, he's a policeman back over in his home country too. Right? While he ain't messing around. But you know what he's done recently? Right? You had a fight coming up on March 3rd that I wasn't going to ignore. I'm going to tell you about it. Now, this is Junior Welterweight Division. Y'all remember Victor Postal? Only one loss. Looked like a miniature Vitaly Klitschko. And, you know, before Terrence Crawford beat him, everybody was like, well, Terrence Crawford don't want to fight him. This the man. Well, Terrence Crawford beat him. Dominated him, by the way. But, Ain't nobody else doing that, right? Ain't nobody else doing that. So Victor Postal was supposed to fight Regis uh, Progress. Now, this boy here is athletic, coming up, and uh, he's try, trying to prove something. So they're going to fight for the WBC strap. Well, anyway, Victor Postal had to pull out. He's injured. Fights on March 3rd. We're in the middle of February. You know who steps in? That hero I was just talking about. Julius Ndungo. Step in, right, on short notice. Now, if these are heavyweights, you know, okay, you know, I'm fat somewhere. I lose a few pounds, but I ain't got to get up on no scale or nothing, right? I'm fat anyway, you know? But a junior welterweight got to get down to 140 pounds in three weeks. You know what that means, folks? He's living a life. That's what that means. Hero. Let's recognize Julius Ndungo if he wins this fight against Progress or not. Doesn't even matter. It's about things like that because it's an anomaly in boxing. Right? You know, people are not doing these type of things. There's a few guys out here that are doing stuff and people like us got to say something so people can re recognize it because they're surrounded by people that feel entitled and don't have to do things like this. Right? We'll do another video about what Chris Eubank Jr. just said.
I'm going to just holler at y'all about it before that video. But he got the nerve to want to be in the WBSS tournament in the super, what, super, super uh, middleweight division. And then if he wins that, go down to middleweight and go on to be in that division. This is what I'm talking about. Stuff that's just like, wait, if you hear any of your favorite fighters doing stuff like that, going up or down to do stuff, your name ain't Mikey Garcia or something, right? These guys, like Julius Ndungo, will be recognized. I thought... When I read that, that was huge news. Oh, there's some news going on. I'm going to holler at y'all about some other stuff. But Julius Ndungo filling in for Victor Postal against an undefeated, you know, we talked 20 and over 17 knockouts, previous progress. Dangerous man that ain't nobody trying to fight and get down at 140 pounds in three weeks. That is what I'm talking about. So let's give him some love. Don't sports talk worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.